Hey guys, welcome back to A Complicated Melody. This is the look that I have for you guys. It is inspired by Nicki Minaj. I was requested to do this video in the 500 subscriber giveaway um, in the comments and um, I'm not a... I'm not a super fan of Nicki Minaj, but this one look that she wears pretty often either on red carpets or in photo shoots is a very bright, almost cut crease um, turquoise eye. And I don't really do cut creases in its traditional sense of doing a cut crease, um, but you will see how to kind of achieve a more blunt line. And, um, you know, the look is it's almost really pretty simple it's but it's kind of a lot of steps to it but you know the the highlight is um the specific look in the specific time that she used this was on the vma's red carpet and i'll show you a picture of it and um she has this um silver glitter liner right there that really makes the eye pop and i really like that um effect i've been getting into glitter liners i don't know why but you know, I really do like glitter liners um, now, especially around the holidays. It really does add like a pop to your eye. So I did that on this look and um, if you want to see how to get it, just keep on watching. Do is make sure you can put down some uh, translucent powder. Um, that will help catch the fallout since I'm using a pigment and we don't want that uh, bright color to get all over our cheeks. Just put down a little translucent powder, and it'll catch it, and you can just wipe it away. Also, you want to prime your eyelid from lid to brown. I'm using um, Urban Decay's Primer Potion, so just put that all over the lid. For a base, I'm going to use uh, Urban Decay's 24-7 Glide-On Pencil in Electric. And these are very, very creamy pencils, so they can be used as bases. They will... Um, you know spread a little easier but they are long lasting so once they're dry you're good to go um, I wouldn't attempt this with the normal cold pencil um, unless it's really really creamy um, if it's too hard it will hurt your eye um, if you don't have this or any creamy turquoise um, pencil you can definitely use white like an NYX jumbo pencil and milk and that'll make the color pop as well for the base I'm basically gonna draw a line right over my eye because this is not necessarily a cut crease so I don't really do those but it definitely has a stopping point so you want it to be more of a sharp line so we're going to draw that line so we know where to put the shadow The pigment that I'm using is called Partylicious, and this was came out in the um, Alice and Olivia collection. If you don't have it, there are plenty of other options, and I'll show you at the end some other options, but we're just looking for a very bright turquoise color. I'm going to use a flat shader brush from Sonia Kashuk. Um, these are a lot easier to work with with pigments because it is flat and you can pat easier with it. I'm going to spray it with Fix Plus, um, and that's to just give it a little moisture so it gets a little tacky, a little sticky, and it'll be um, much more brighter. To create some definition in the crease, I'm going to take this matte brown, it's cream de cocoa from uh, Maybelline, it's my favorite, and a blending brush. And we're just going to blend that over the crease. We're not blending out the line, we're just going to create a little dimension right above the crease. So to create the gray in the outer corner, I'm going to use gunmetal and creep out of the Naked palette. I'm pick up some of that gunmetal on a blending brush and I'm going to blend that in the outer corner. Now I'm going to take this definer brush from Smashbox to create the outer V with the darker creep color and we want this to be a little more specific so I'm going to use a more defined brush. Now I'm going to take this definer brush from Smashbox to create the outer V with the darker creep color and we want this to be a little more specific so I'm going to use a more defined brush. Now I'm going to take this definer brush from Smashbox to create the outer V with the darker creep color and we want this to be a little more specific so I'm going to use a more defined brush. I'm using, you know, my MYX highlight, as usual, smaller Sonia Kashuk brush, and we're going to put that in uh, right under the brows. For a more defined brow, I'm going to take a very thin uh, angled shadow brush, 
and rice paper and I'm going to put that right under the um, brow. For her liner, it's a lot more um, bold and kind of like a matte finish. So I'm going to use, um, this is the iStudio by Maybelline Cream Liner. I always recommend my Stila Conjol Pencil in Ebony. Um, it's very, very creamy and it's very, very black. So I'm going to line the waterline and the lower lash line with this. So I'm going to take a smudger brush to smooth that out. Now, a little trick to keep your waterline um, eyeliner there, um, you can set it with an eyeshadow, a black eyeshadow. So I'm going to take, um, this is Black Dog from the Urban Decay Black Palette, and a smudger brush. And I'm just going to put that over the waterline, and so that will help set it so it doesn't fade away. So probably one of the more interesting parts of this look is that she used a silver glitter liner right here in the inner um, lash line at the bottom. So this is actually one of the little mini ones that I got last Christmas from Gemma Kid from Target. So obviously I don't use that often. So there are a number of options, you know, for this and I'll show you some more, but um, I'm just going to use this one. So I'm going to let this dry, put my lashes on, and I will be right back. Okay, guys, so normally I just do all the blushing stuff um, off camera, but I'm just going to show you what I did because I think I need to touch it up just a bit. <clears throat> so I'm going to use Her Blooming Cheek, which is from the Tartan Tail, the holiday collection from MAC. And I'm going to take this Dew Fiber brush, and this is a very, very pigmented color. Um, so you don't need a whole lot of it and this brush picks it up lightly so you don't get you know too much on the brush so for this color I'm going to concentrate on just this part of the cheek right here okay and so I'm going to take this is um, deep throat which is a much lighter pink um, and I'm going to put this on the apples of my cheek Now normally I don't contour a whole lot, especially not, not during the day, but to go out, um, I really only contour just my cheeks. I don't really contour much else, nose or anything like that. I don't do all that. So um, this is an NYC uh, matte powder bronzer. It's like amazing. And this one is in Golden Glow. I make a fishy face. So, for me to, to do any really contouring, I just like to give a little more of a shadow effect here to contour so it, you know, highlights my cheekbones. You know, this is more of a, what I would consider like a show look, like a go out look or something like that. Obviously, this is one on the red carpet. I'm not walking down anybody's red carpet. But, um, to brighten up this area under here, I'm going to use this Sonia Kashuk eyeshadow. Um, it's called an eye brightening powder and it's white, but don't be too afraid. It will just lighten up this area right here and you don't need a whole lot of it. Take the powder that's already on the little puffy thing here and I take this as a Sonia Kashuk brush and I like it because it's a powder brush that's tapered so it's good for under the eye and I'm just going to put that under the eye. And then just brush that in there. Make sure you blend that out really good. For the lashes, I used Ardell's 118. And um, these are gradually larger towards the outer corner. So it kind of gives you more of that cat eye effect. Um, 
in the picture it looks like she may have done just a half a lash not a whole one um, but I didn't feel like cutting it so I just put the whole thing on I use my Maybelline falsies in a uh, blackest black on the top and the bottom lashes I am not normally um, a, a like a doll pink lip type of person but this is you know inspired by her look um, her pink lips are much much more pale and this is one of those things that lip color I think is very important cheek color is also very important to pick colors that go best with your skin tone so I often think it's a little too pale for her but it's her lips not mine so since I have to walk out of the house with this on I'm not gonna go as pale pink as she did um, I did use um, dolly pink and in some of her pictures especially like on the red carpet it seems like she used like a lighter pink lip liner instead of a darker which is usually kind of the makeup rule is to use a lip liner that's slightly darker looks like she uses one that's a little bit lighter um and so this one is a little bit lighter it's a kind of more of it just it's like a dolly pink this is actually probably the lightest pink um lipstick that i have and this one is um by uh, wet n wild and it's 907 c and it's actually a matte one um, but it's very very pink um, as you can see um, and this is about as light as pink as I get I use the euphoric um, hip lip gloss and this is pink too so you get kind of that real dolly pink lip so if for some reason you don't have this particular pigment by Mac there are tons of different options um, this one is called Rainy Days by LA Splash and it's more of a green blue but I mean for the same effect you'll get the same effect you can also get NYX um, irises and this is just a turquoise eyeshadow and it's pretty pigmented so you can do the same effect with it or if you have Zingy by Mac and I'm pretty sure Mac has you know some other ones this was in the um, dare to wear collection so there are a number I'm pretty sure of other kind of MAC dupes and just you just need a, a turquoise color and I chose to use a pigment because um, when using a pigment a lot of times they come off a lot more pigmented and brighter and um, being and so you know using it wet kind of gives you that really really bold color if you don't have a um, glitter liner NYX also has liquid glitter, glitter liners but a lot of people um, complain that the glitter liners sting and they do for me they just sting really like what as they're drying when I put them on it doesn't sting but as it starts to dry I don't know if it's just kind of tight or whatever but it kind of stings a little but once it dries it doesn't you know bother me anymore but one other option is the um, glitter cream palettes from NYX you can get those too um, and you can just put some type of base up there for it to stick to a little more these are kind of like creamy but the glitter seems to be a little more like loose so you can definitely you know try these to achieve the same effect so this is how it really all came together. Um, interestingly, I was requested to do this video for Nicki Minaj and I'd been wanting to recreate her this look because this is kind of a really common look for her and I love turquoise, turquoise eyes. Um, so it worked out nicely that I was requested to do it because I had been meaning to do it, just hadn't gotten around to it. So um, I hope you like it and if you have any questions, of course, just let me know. And I thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next video.